Welcome to the Deya training video. This video will introduce you to install and use Deya Hybrid Inverter and RWF 10.2 battery. Unboxing and Inspection The RWF 10.2 battery module consists of the following components. This device is paired with the Deya inverter, which includes the following components. The installation requires the following tools. It is recommended to wear the following safety equipment during installation. Please select a vertical wall with load-bearing capacity for installation. Make sure that there is more than 500 millimeters of heat dissipation space around the product. Install this inverter at eye level in order to allow the LCD display to be read at all times. Assemble the battery. When wall-mounted installation is adopted, the equipment should be kept at a distance of greater than or equal to 400 millimeters from the ground. After fixing the wall bracket, the stickers on the right and top should be pasted at the specified distance. Mark the position of the borehole with the pencil. Select the recommended drill bit and drill four holes on the wall with a depth of 100 to 110 millimeters. Fix the hanging board to the wall and insert the four expansion bolts into the holes. Complete the fixation of the hanging board. Fix the back plate to the back of the battery with 12 M6 screws. Then lift the device along the position of the sticker and push it onto the hanging board. Tighten the bolts and complete the installation. When installing on the ground, use two M6 times 10 screws to fix the left and right fixing gears on both sides of the battery. Position the cell side against the wall and mark the position of the fixed hole. Select the recommended 8 mm drill bit and drill two holes in the wall with a depth of 100 to 110 mm. Fix the battery to the wall and tighten the expansion bolts. Adjust the left and right adjustable leveling foot to the appropriate positions to make the battery perpendicular to the ground. Install the inverter. Remove the inverter from the box. Place the inverter horizontally in the intended mounting position. Label the four fixed hole positions of the inverter. Choose the 12 mm drill head to drill four holes on the wall, 82 to 90 mm deep. Fit the expansion bolt into the holes. Lift the inverter and fix it with expansion bolts. Inverter mounting completed. Cable connection. The following is the display of each interface of the battery module. The following is a display of each interface of the inverter equipped. Open the gland covers at the bottom of the inverter. When wiring, Loosen the sealing cap so that the cable can be easily passed through and retighten the sealing cap after the wiring is complete. Plug the end of the power cable with a quick plug terminal into the power terminal of the battery according to the corresponding color. Connect the other end of the power cord to the positive and negative terminals of the inverter. Get a standard RJ45 cable and plug one end of the cable into the PCS communication port of the battery. Plug the other end of the cable into the BMS communication port on the inverter. Parallel connection of multiple batteries. For the Australian RWF 10.2, a parallel battery power cable needs to be prepared. Use two Zero AWG cables and pass the cable bundle through the plastic part of the connector. Strip the wires and insert them into the metal part of the connector. Then use a hydraulic crimping tool to secure the wires. Due to product upgrades, select the appropriate installation method based on the actual product received. Power Cable Connection Connect the positive and negative terminals of the battery to the inverter's BATT port positive and negative terminals. Communication Cable Connection Connect the PCS port of the battery to the BMS port of the inverter. It is recommended to use the RJ45 cable from the accessory kit. When connecting power cables, connect the master positive to the slave positive and the master negative to the slave negative.
When connecting communication cables, connect the master out port to the slave in port. When turning on the batteries, start the master first, then the slave. The batteries are now performing a self-check. The batteries have now completed the self-check. AC side connection. Before connecting to grid, please install a separate AC breaker between inverter and grid. It is also recommended to install an AC breaker between backup load and inverter. Please use the proper recommended cable. The inverter is designed with grid, load, and gen terminals. Follow the marks on the PCB board to use terminals 5 and 6 to connect the wires of the CT. PV side connection. Make sure the DC switch and on-off button are in the off state. Use a multimeter to confirm the voltage and polarity of the PV connector. Measure with DC voltage level. The voltage value should be positive and within the allowable range of the inverter. CT connection. Follow the marks on the use terminals 5 and 6 to connect the wires of CT. Clamp the CT onto the live wire of grid AC cable. Note, the arrow direction confirming the CT should be towards grid. Meter connection. In Australia, we usually recommend using the meter SDM120CT. Refer to the meter instruction to install the meter. When connecting the meter CT, the CT always faces towards the inverter. For other types of meters, please refer to the inverter manual or contact the DUYA after sales support team. Connect the RS485 port of the electricity meter to the meter port of the inverter. Earth connection mandatory. For safety reasons, ensure that the inverter housing is reliably grounded. Wi-Fi connection. Connect the data logger to the inverter. At last, turn on the DC switch and press the inverter start button. At this point, the inverter indicator light and screen will light up. Touch the gear icon on the top right of the main page to enter the advanced function. Touch the down arrow to turn the page. Check the parallel mode, select master and set Modbus SN 01 to 16 to adjust the Modbus communication address of the master inverter. Check the slave and set Modbus SN 01 to 16 to adjust the Modbus communication address of the slave inverter. Touch the gear icon at the top right of the main page to enter the system setup page. Touch to enter the battery setting page. Select the lithium mode and enter your total battery capacity. Touch the down arrow to turn the page. Set lithium mode to 00. zero. At this point, your battery and inverter have been initially set up. Thank you for watching. Need help? Please contact Duya's official technical support. Service at duya.com.cn.